I'm RT and welcome back to RT's World. So today I proudly present you my latest creation and you see it in the background. It is called Hit the Balloon Casino Game or yeah, <laughs> I don't know if that's a nice name but uh, that's what I came up with. So of course this one was again suggested by a viewer so thanks a lot for all those suggestors out there and I'm also really really appreciating each of your comments, each of your likes and of course each of your subs so make sure to subscribe and hit this subscribe and like button do it please <laughs> and yeah today we thank max jacobs for the suggestion and he suggested i was thinking remembering those arcade games where you had to blow up a balloon until it popped and you got a jackpot what if you do the same thing with playing would give you a chance to add to the price and move turn to more lights or some way to show that you get closer to the jackpot. So that's exactly what I did. I think this is one of the closest matches, matches to any comment I ever tried to build. And I'm really proud of this machine since it is super uh, compact-ish and it can do a lot of things and is super safe. It is completely doable in multiplayer Minecraft on servers. It's also, of course, uh, doable in single player. And I really, really like how it came together. And there are certain rules to get uh, used to. The first one is um, you can only shoot a target when the lamp above is on. You saw it already in the preview. That happens really fast, so you shouldn't have an issue doing that. Except you spam, but that would only count as one throw then. Um, the best experience you're gonna have if you stand on this red block, since you can see the outer layer of indication lamps if you hit a target or you didn't. And the third rule is you can only hit it 16 times. Doesn't matter where you hit it. You can also, for example, aim like here or there. That doesn't matter. But if you hit the target, it will count as a hit. And you can only hit it 16 times. And you have to fill 15 lamps in total to win the netherite, uh, the netherite block here, which is the main jackpot in this case. Of course, there are many ways to customize this machine. You can add uh, dispensers along the way. If you, for example, halfway through or even three, la three lamp through, but for the sake of this video, I just choose to do the netherite block at the end. And since our payment or our currency in this case is only diamonds, as we can see here, it's a very low input price basically for what we can win as a jackpot. And I also designed this machine to be really foolproof. So if you, for example, afterwards we play, if we spam the target, doesn't matter, just counts as one hit. If we go here and try to like sneak up and hit the target from here to get an easier uh, 15 signal strength or if you hit the bullseye easier doesn't count since we stand on the pressure plates and you cannot do anything to cheat this machine you could cheat it for example if you're in creative mode and of course fly here on the top and then shoot down you could prevent the two by just putting glass uh, on the top layer if someone if on the server could fly or something like that but yeah i think that's an exception and you don't need to worry about that so i designed it really to be foolproof and I'm really proud of my design. And with that said, let's try it once more. So we're gonna insert here another diamond. We're gonna come here to the red block and wait for our 16 snowballs. So now we can hit 16 times the target until we need to, yeah, get play another round. So uh, one thing to say in advance, in the preview you saw before where I just uh, won the netherite block, I set a difficulty to like really easy um, to anything above signal strength three or so will uh, give you one lamp progress. And for this round, I've set difficulty to really hard. So only signal strength 14 and 15 will give us a progress lamp. So as we can see, we hit the target, but we do not get any progress. And if we go closer to it or go to the to the plates, the lamp will turn off. We cannot hit it. Yeah, we, we could just throw snowballs at it, but it won't do anything. If we fly, for example, as, as I said before, um, yeah, it's now easier, of course, to hit signal strength 14 or 15. But I only managed to do it once, even from this close distance. But uh, you get the idea, you can place here very like highly valued jackpots, can be even more than netherite block. Um, if you set a difficulty to really hard, um, yeah, players won't judge you if you <laughs> if you um, need to be very precise in your snowball throwing and there's also a little bit of randomness to it so it doesn't matter how a good snowball thrower you are at some point you will still depend on some randomization that is uh, yeah 
that, that, that's just Minecraft. So here's the snowball stock, as you can see here, the stockpile. And I want to show you now every and each of those circuits. I also conveniently uh, colored them or color coded them to make it a little bit easier to understand it. And in the second part of this video, we will build it block by block together so you can build this machine in your single player or multiplayer world and play with your friends or yeah, just uh, charge some money and get rich <laughs> on a Minecraft server or whatsoever. So um, I will go subse subsequently through all the circuits. So we have here our simple item filter with our currency item, which is the diamond. And by inserting the diamond, we move from the left to the right this X and activate another bunch of circuits. But the most important one um, is this blue one. Since the blue one, where is it? Uh, will deactivate this torch here and therefore activating this torch on the green circuit. And the lime circuit just powers all this redstone here, including this piston. And if we now, if I can get some snowballs, Let's try that for example. If we now hit the target, we can see the signal cannot propagate through. And as the blue circuit or as we start the casino, this piston will um, stick its block one block upwards. So, and I will demonstrate it to you now so you can understand what I'm saying. So we insert here our diamond. <coughs> we move the X here to the left. Of course, we get a bunch of snowballs in the front. <coughs> yeah, let's just collect them. <coughs> And now let's get to the back again. And as I already told you, we now activated the blue circuit. We deactivated this torch, therefore activating that one and popping up this piston. So if we now hit this target block, it will transfer the signal through this comparator line. We compare it or subtract the amount of uh, signal strength in this item hopper here. And only one signal strength or two in this case, 14 and 15 are, if we hit them, lighting up this redstone, therefore adding one signal strength in this dark green signal strength counter or signal strength increaser. So this adder just adds all adds all the signal strengths up and with this orange circuit displays it to us as a player in the front with those lamps. Those orange circuits are completely unnecessary for functioning of the casino. They are just for visualizing how far we progress in this machine. So I can show that to you very easily. Uh, here we have this nice indication. So we have 13 signal strength uh, coming from this hopper. Therefore, we need 14 or 15 to get uh, any signal through. And by removing items from here, now we're at 12. Now we're at, what is that? 10. So now 11, 12, 13, 14 and 15. So one third of all throws uh, which are good placed or a third from the radius of this block down, we would end up in a win or in a lamp progression, which is uh, rather easy. I would recommend signal strength 12 at least or higher. Uh, if you want to make it hardcore with a really nice jackpot, make it 14 or higher. So people have to hit 15. But uh, as always, you could build multiple of those machines and make different difficulties with different amount of prices. So I can show you now what happens if we win. If we win, we add one signal strength to this green uh, circuit. I just can demonstrate it by just hitting this uh, block. So now we hit it and in the front, let's get there. In the front, we can see we already activated the first lamp and we can also do that from now from here. Just put it, hit it, second lamp, third lamp. You have as much time as you like. Um, there's no timing involved. If you hit it 16 times, it will reset itself. Now we're at signal strength. Let's go to five or so. I'll just go to six. It will be a little bit more convenient afterwards. So now I miss placed one hit of course I hit it six times but only five lamps are on so only five out of six times I managed to get above signal strength 10 on the target and what is very really important for the reset mechanism of how many throws you have left is this redstone torch and this redstone torch they will power this dropper here very shortly and move one item from the left to the right and as I already told you, I threw six snowballs at the target and that's why there are also just to, for visualization uh, snowballs in there. There could be any items that are stackable in there. Six snowballs, we already hit the target and 10 remaining shots left. So if I hit a target, nine, if I hit it again, eight and so on. You get the idea. Now we have eight there and eight there. And if I hit it here right on the edge, as you can see, none of the signals will get through since we have to get above 10. And if I hit it in the middle, or that was nothing actually. If I hit it here in the middle, it gets through and it adds up to our lamp progression in the front. 
So we have four throws left, and after those four throws, I will just simulate three more throws. Um. One, two, and as we can see, there's a slight delay. That's also this lamp here uh, powered. If we hit it, the lamp will shortly turn off to process the signal, but it immediately, like immediately turns on again, and you can hit it again. So there's practically no delay, but uh, a slight two tick delay. So it's, yeah, it's rather convenient. So now the next throw will reset this whole machine, and I will show you how it how to do it. Um, if we empty this dropper here, which corresponds to, hey, we hit the, the target 16 times, it will power this redstone torch, power all the magenta reset circuits. And as we can see here, we have here a, sh a short clock, a short clock, a short uh, pulse extender, and it will activate this lamp here, therefore powering this redstone line, depowering this torch, and pulling immediately the system down. So after we played, if you have some snowballs, for example, some third-party snowballs, you brought your own to this machine, and you just keep hitting the target, it doesn't make it easier for the next run, since the pulse adder cell does not remember hitting the target, since we pull it immediately down. So that's uh, this time, um, part of the circuit. We also uh, power this very long pulse ad pulse uh, extender here, and what it does, uh, it very much powers this block, depowers the torch, and removes all the signal strength from the uh, pulse adder, or from the signal strength adder cell. And after it did that, after it did that, we power and depower the short torch, <laughs> the torch shortly, progress the signal here further, and here in the end, move the item from the left back to the right, therefore closing um, or basically depowering this line here, opening the gate again and we can insert another item and play the machine again. So we have additional safety features in, I already told you that. If we press any of the pressure plates, and I can just simulate that uh, since all this redstone will be activated if we press a pressure plate, if I simulate that by simply putting there a redstone torch, so that simulates a player standing there, we can see we pulled the piston down, so if we now hit the target, doesn't matter. Completely useless to hit a target if you're standing on the pressure plates, nothing will happen since this piston retra retracts. So if we leave the pressure plates, piston is there again, we can hit it again. So I made it really foolproof, I guess. And what is also very convenient, if you, for example, run out of snowballs, uh, that's of, of course completely optional, if you would run out of snowballs, um, here are the hopper lines to the droppers, which are completely filled. Um, if we would run off snow out of snowballs, we would power one of those two redstone torches, therefore powering this uh, line, and powering this uh, redstone torch indefinitely, or depowering it indefinitely. And what it does is, of course, as we can see here, since it's depowered by that uh, comparator here, if we if we wouldn't play and we just would run out of snowballs, the machine would um, automatically close itself off to accept any more diamonds. So if there are no snowballs in there, you cannot put in diamonds. The casino owner has to come here, restock the snowballs, then the machine will open automatically again. So that's failsafe. Uh, if there are no snowballs in there, yeah, the machine it does not accept any currency. And yeah, I think that's already it. The orange circuit I already explained. It's just for visualization. So it just adds up all the signal strength and visualizes it in lamps. And maybe the last circuit I want to explain is uh, this uh, light blue one here in the bot in the in the ground, and we can see here very well. Let's go to game mode spectator. We can see here very well that uh, this observer clock will be started for with this pulse extender for a certain amount of time, and exactly eight items from those dropper each will be dispensed to the surface, and therefore we get our sixteen snowballs to play with. And as I already told you, now I will show you what I explained to you in words with uh, some action, but it's really fast, of course. And yeah, what I also forgot to mention is we, with this long clock here, power also this piston and this yellow line and the yellow line just moves all the items from the right back to the left so we can start all over again. So let's hit it once more. We can see we power this torch. We pull the piston immediately down. We already put all the items back there. We also reset all the lamps in the in the uh, front, and we also opened again this gate to insert more diamonds. And that's basically how this machine works. So that's each circuit explained. I put a lot of effort into this machine. It, it was a ton of fun to build it. And I think it turned out really, really well. 
And yeah, I would be very happy on if you also like the machine. If you like this concept, if you maybe consider building it on your server or your single player world. I put a lot of effort into it. And yeah, now we will progress further to the block by block tutorial. So stick around if you want to build this machine by yourself. So welcome to the block by block tutorial part. And don't be scared away as always. I will go over all the details. So first of all, we start with the 8 by 19 platform. 8 that direction, 19 this direction. If you want to have a lot of space here, uh, you can do the 8 if you don't want to have a lot of space or you can be narrower, just uh, narrow it down. Uh, then we go one block in from both sides as we can see here and then we're gonna start a 5 high frame with the horizontal bar on top. And what we're also gonna do is place the frame on the ninth block. So here are 8 blocks in front of that frame. Then right next to that we're gonna place a dropper in the bottom with our winning items and our for example we have here this nice item frame. Then we're gonna place 15 redstone lamps like this. Four quartz stairs, here a line of white concrete and here a line of normal quartz blocks again. That looks like this. And then we're gonna add here two pieces of glass and we're also gonna pull in here some droppers. And we're gonna get this glass, glass again. That's where our snowballs will get afterwards. So, and here we're gonna have a hopper with the gate, uh, with the gate, with the trapdoor, diamond, and some signs. You can also copy them if you want to do that, but uh, you can also write them on your own. So, then we're gonna remove that and we're gonna fill them with snowballs. That was not, oh my god, no. That was a real fail. So let's destroy those additional items. Don't need them. So next up we're gonna need some quartz and some smooth quartz. For the quartz we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six. And then we're gonna place here in this six by five platform. And we're gonna repeat the same procedure with wool here on the bottom. So just five by six platform, as we can see here. And I think I now have it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm really sorry, five by six in addition to that line. It's five by seven, as we can see here. And you could pause at any point, of course, to look the exact block measurements, but it should look like this. So same going on here in the, on the bottom. Just place a lot of redstone in there. And also here on the other side as well. Then we're gonna encase everything in smooth quartz. So just do it like this. Ah, here we're gonna have red concrete. Here will be our target block. And here it will gonna be an additional wall like so. For the ceiling we're gonna make a frame out of smooth quartz and then we're gonna fill the rest up with sea lanterns to get some nice lighting in there. So and from the front everything now looks completely fine. We can add here the snowballs in the item frames as we got it here but that's just decoration. You could do it as you like. And I forgot the lamp right here. So let's now go to the background and get ourselves some materials. So we're gonna place in this shape right here. Gonna place in here a redstone torch. We also gonna need here a repeater, comparator, redstone, some more droppers here and there. In the right one we're gonna put any item, doesn't really matter. Here we're gonna have our magenta wool reset circuit. Here we're gonna have our redstone comparator. Here we're gonna remove that block. And then we're just gonna go right here with a sticky piston. And again, one target to close the gap if we insert any diamond. So the first hopper now has to be configured. And we also need to set here, of course, I forgot to mention that two hoppers facing to the left and here a chest. So they don't have to, they're not allowed to face in any other direction other than left. So next up we're gonna configure the first one. We're gonna do that by putting in 16 
18 and then three more secretly named items and then one, two, three diamonds. And as we can see here, then the third one will be here in this chest and the second one here, first one there. And we have already moved our X, so I will move it back since we already placed in a diamond. Next up, we're gonna build right here, uh, redstone dust. Here we're gonna build another redstone dust and then one, two, three. Repeaters set to full delay. And then we're gonna change right to here. So we're gonna place here a repeater. Here some redstone like this. Here we're gonna place an observer. Another observer. Sticky piston. Here we're gonna have a block. Repeater. Then we're gonna place in right here a comparator, there a comparator. Redstone dust everywhere, sticky piston and a repeater set to two ticks right there. So if we play now and there are already some um, snowballs in there, we can of course already place in here our hoppers. Just place them in like this and just put here, just get some pre-filled chests now. So, that should be enough. Just get some snowballs, they will get transferred into the system. And as we place in, for example, here a diamond, should already get 16 snowballs, as we can see here. That's perfect, that's exactly what we need. Next up, we're gonna add the black wool, and for the black wool, we just reach the output of those uh, two uh, droppers with comparators, two redstone torches, and then just go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Just place a repeater now. Again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So that's also fine. Next up, we're gonna start here the target block. So we're gonna place in here our comparator. Right down there our sticky piston that will pop up. Another comparator a block with two redstone torches attached to. Then we're gonna have here another comparator, another comparator. This one's set to subtraction mode. Here we're gonna have a pre-filled uh, hopper set to this uh, fill level. And it will exactly be signal strength 10 outputting. So 11 and above will be outputted now. I would suggest more, just go to 12. Uh, 12 would be Let's place in more. Yeah, that's already 12. So I would recommend you to do uh, four stacks, complete, list, complete stacks. So then we're gonna have here a nice two tick repeater. We're gonna have here a piston, here another two tick repeater. So we're gonna place in here a wool block and some redstone dust. Then we're gonna remove this torch. I'm very sorry for that. I just ha remembered it from the first version I played, but uh, yeah, of course I updated it and now it's not uh, up to date anymore. So we have here these two redstone dust. Here we're gonna have a torch and then here we're gonna have a redstone. Here we're gonna have a redstone as well, like this. Then we're gonna get some glass, preferably some lime one. And then we also get another lime block like this. So, and then we just place here a block, here a block and here a redstone. So now it is extended like so. Next up, we're gonna place in here in the bottom, here a torch, sticky piston with a wool block, another wool block, another wool block and here a torch and that should already retract that piston. Some redstone, here we're gonna have a repeater and here we're gonna place a block here we're gonna place a repeater set. Oh, now we got 16 additional snowballs. Uh, sorry for that. Here we're gonna place this kind of shape and we can also tidy it up. Do it like this. Nice. So then we can already place in here our magenta torch with a redstone like this. And here we're gonna have a repeater. That's for later, that's just uh, preparation. Next up, we're gonna go down two blocks diagonally like this, starting from that piston here. And then we're gonna add in right here a comparator with a redstone block, comparator set in subtraction mode. 
then we're gonna have right beneath this block right here and there here we're gonna have a uh, piece of redstone dust here we're gonna have a comparator here we're gonna have a chest with any item in there just place chest in there or so and here we're gonna have a redstone torch like this then we're gonna switch sides we're gonna place in here to redstone dust sorry that should not happen here a block with a comparator set to subtraction mode oh that should be normal so then we have here a redstone dust we're gonna have right here a block with some uh, subtraction mode comparators here a block there a block there a block two pieces of redstone like this then we're gonna have a comparator set in this direction so subtraction mode then we're gonna have a block right here and we're gonna have a block right here with our final comparator like this and we're gonna missing a block on top like that and i'm really sorry i have to go back to the other side uh we misplaced unfortunately this block so we need to get each block one block over so the chest with the chest inside we're gonna need here the redstone with the torch and we're gonna need our comparator set to normal subtraction mode here uh, to normal mode right here and our redstone like that and yeah i'm really sorry for that if we now place in here a torch very shortly we should get this signal strength up to uh, one if we get it another one there it be, would be two and so on and if it starts at 15 sometimes there's a problem where it starts at 15 just place in right here a torch wait until the signal strength is zero again right here and then just remove the torch again and start over by adding the torch very shortly right here so next up we're gonna add in here our node block set to like uh, pitch five and get in there an iron block to make it sound a little bit better and then we're gonna start already with the orange line so we're gonna have a comparator so let's go and grab a little bit differently here our inventory so another redstone dust another comparator then we're gonna have one two three four five six seven blocks we're gonna place in redstone all across right that uh, then we're gonna go beneath this comparator place here redstone dust place there redstone dust here we're gonna have two repeaters like so facing in that direction then we're gonna have here a block with a redstone torch like that and we're gonna grab a redstone torch right here place two blocks out of redstone dust and it should go off again then we're gonna have right here a repeater and we're gonna grab the redstone dust right from here we have here another repeater and sorry we can replace it with redstone dust like so so if we now add one you can see one lamp if we have two three four you can already see the top lamp is on five would be this one six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve 13 14 15 so as we progress further we of course increase the signal strength so then we're gonna add one two three four blocks like this we put redstone dust on top we're gonna add in here a repeater we're gonna have here a repeater we're gonna have here a repeater and we're gonna have here a redstone dust we're gonna have here a torch there a torch here redstone dust and this torch right here should then just power everything like this and last but not least we're gonna have here a repeater gonna block down like this and we should end up here where this uh, dropper and this lamp meet up and here we're gonna also add in repeater redstone line and there we're gonna have two blocks that indicate when we win and we're gonna have like 10 and we're also gonna have like six or so that's nice and we also need here a repeater set to two ticks and i'm really sorry but we have to place this one one block to the right like so and prevent this redstone signal from um yeah lining up so now we should already be able to test everything out like so just place in there oh we already got our snowballs i think 
So we're gonna get this X here from the left, put in the right dropper again, place in here a diamond, get rid of like any item, get our snowballs and just test them. But of course it's really hard to get to the signal strength, so for testing maybe just remove one or two wool stacks again. Next up we will uh, build out our reset circuits and we're gonna start right here on this green block. Gonna extend this and we're gonna place in here some redstone dust. We're gonna have here a comparator, here two comparators. Two comparators in the other direction, one comparator in the other direction, some redstone dust in between, like this. And then we're gonna have here already our repeater set to four ticks. We're gonna go up like this. Go up like that, like that. And we're gonna meet up here with this yellow wool, this torch with two of those droppers facing into each other. The left one we're gonna place in 16 snowballs. And we're also gonna read the output of this one and inverting the signal right like so. And then we're gonna basically connect everything up and prevent those two lines from connecting. So um, next up we're gonna block down right here. We're gonna add in here a repeater. We're gonna add in here redstone dust and then we're gonna add in here a comparator. Here a comparator, two pieces of redstone dust. Another redstone torch here, redstone dust here on top. And here an additional re repeater and we meet up with our repeater we set in here previously and that should now allow the piston to extend again. So uh, with that done we're gonna place in here a redstone torch. We're gonna place in right here uh, redstone dust. We're gonna have here two repeaters, each of them set to two ticks. Piston and then we just remove that block here. And what we end up with is a line that connects like this. We're gonna have here two repeaters set to one tick. We're gonna have right here one repeater. You will see later why there is a repeater. And then we're just gonna add here everything up. And just for good measure, throw in another repeater. I think we need that. So then we're gonna grab ourselves here a yellow circuit with a redstone. Here we're gonna place a sticky piston. That's why there is a repeater. Then we're gonna get some observers. And we, uh, basically we need this one here and this one here. So if it uh, pushes it up, they face each other. Here's some yellow wool connected to the right dropper on top. With that built, uh, we are already done. So let's go to the front. We can see we already have here our lamps from testing on. So we have to manually just very shortly reset this uh, circuit by just placing in here redstone torch real quick to uh, reset everything properly. So um, now let's go to the testing phase. So we place in here our diamond. We should get 16 of those snowballs. If we run onto the pressure plates, the lamp should go off. If we spam the target, nothing should happen. So. Now for testing, I would recommend removing just three stacks and just leaving in one there just to test it. And then we can hit it anywhere basically and get progress. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. And now at fourteen, I will stop since I want to check here if everything works properly. Two there, 14 there, perfect. Let's go to the front. Let's push the 15th one there and we should also get our netherite block. And the 16th one should reset now everything. Let's see if it does it perfectly. So with that said, uh, just don't forget to move it back. So after testing, move the four stacks in there. And yeah, with that said, <laughs> thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this uh, tutorial. If you uh, ran into any issue during the building phase, make sure to download the world in the video description. There's a word download link and you can maybe find your mistakes. And with that said, thanks for watching, keep suggesting and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.